How's it going? Good new week to you. Okay, today's audio is going to be packed up with full of humor. Are you seeking a relationship? Then you must listen to this clip to learn how to be in a relationship without trying. This audio is rich of treasures and full of humor. Continue to work on yourself to comprehend this stuff and apply it to your day-to-day -day life. Please listen to this conversation closely and enjoy. I'd like to thank you for listening to my audios. Wishing you an awesome week. Enjoy and chill. Thank you so much. Just a few minutes ago, someone was asking me, do you think you'll be called? I said, yes. <laughs> I have a couple of questions for you. So I have been trying to find a mate, a lover for some time. Yes. Recently, I met. Did you hear the contradiction right in the opening words? He said, I have been trying to find a mate for some time. I have been, I have been trying to find, because this mate is lost, a mate for some time. It's all right, because an observation of life experience causes you to, we're just going to sort through this a little and have fun. So just relax because it won't be too painful. Sure. sure. <laughs> We're just going to play with all of you a little bit. So what are the evident beliefs? Finding a mate is not easy or it's easy. Finding a mate happens quickly or takes a long time. It's something that you have to try to do or it's something that just comes to you. And so this is what we mean by bucking your own current. You have beliefs that are working against you. And we know Esther argued for what you are experiencing. She would say, well, of course, that's what he believes. He's been trying to find the missing mate for a long time. What do you want from him, Abraham? And we say, we just want you to understand you can't get there from there because every step forward you take your mate just keeps moving. I'm trying to find you. I'm trying to find you. I'm trying to find you. It has been like that for some time. <laughs> so the best way to have something that you care about break loose is by taking your attention off of it. Because when you put your attention on it, you practice the vibration that you've got going. So you want to do something to stop that momentum or even better. You want to start a different momentum. So if you would start a different momentum on another subject or just focus upon something else that is working, you would stop the practice of that. And when you stop the practice of something, the momentum of it subsides. And when the momentum subsides, it's much easier then to start off on a new track. In fact, every night while you sleep, the momentum subsides. But for most of you, when you wake up, you just activate the same beliefs again by staying on the same subject again, by offering the same words again and remembering the same things again. And so it's a matter of deciding what you want to keep active and what you don't want to keep active. And the thing, oh, we love you all so much, but you know what you believe? You believe that in order to get what you want, you have to try. And you've been taught that the more you want it, the harder you should try. And the more it's not coming, the more you should try. And it's counterproductive. Because when you really believe that it is not coming, the harder you try, the more it won't come. That's just the way it is, you see. So don't do that anymore. Next. I, so actually there's a little background. Uh, uh, we're sure there's a lot of background. I have, That's the whole point. Beliefs are about background, but what you want is in the foreground. And so if you keep the background activated, the background just keeps coming with you everywhere you go. Come along, come along, doubt and fear. Come along, come along. I don't want to leave you behind. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, let me activate you a little more. You're not quite close enough. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There, now you're just miserable enough for me. Yeah, here we go. I think I'll go to Can't Find a Mate Anonymous meetings. 
So I have been practicing meditation and trying to get rid of the negative momentum. I can't get rid of negative momentum. There's a war against drugs and a war against cancer and a war against AIDS and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against terrorism and war against terrorism, war against terrorism, war against, war against, and all of them are getting bigger. Because whatever you give your attention to, you practice and attract to yourself until you are part of the statistic, you see. So I'm after he leaves this room, he will never say the word trying again. <laughs> it's like shock. <laughs> We're poking with a stick every time he says trying. <laughs> so I met a girl a few months ago through a mutual friend and I didn't really know her, but for some reason for work, I got to meet her a few times and I instantly fell in love with her. It was like you would see love at first sight or I was like on drugs all the time, all days. <laughs> and I liked each and every little thing about her. I absolutely adored everything. It was like immense power. I felt so powerful that when I envisioned living a life with her, uh, I could feel that I'm the most powerful man in the world. I went and saw a $9 million home. I thought of starting my own startup. It was like everything was in peace and I spoke with her because you came into alignment with your own desire for a while and then then I confessed my feelings to her she said she didn't feel the same way and I kind of fell out of that vibration the thing that we really want to emphasize with you with all of you such a wonderful experience is that that feeling of connecting with your desire when you felt that elation, you were a perfect vibrational match to the desire that you've been putting into your vortex for this relationship. And so if you can maintain that longer, what you want must come into a manifested realization. But what happens when that momentum is short-lived and the former belief is still available maybe even readily available and you act too soon then the result of your action backfires that's what we call trying too hard backfires because then you began immediately to respond to her saying that she did not feel the same way and then that wonderful bliss went away for you because your bliss was conditional upon her response rather than conditional upon your alignment with what you really want now if we could just convince you and we can't you have to find a way of getting it yourself that if you could maintain that feeling of elation that you were describing a perfect match to your perfect idea of this perfect mate must show itself to you it has to be but everything that you have just described here is exactly what goes with most people about most things they want something because they don't have it and the more they don't have it the more they really really want it and then they move into action before the action is really inspired it would be like putting the seed of corn into the ground, knowing that it's going to grow if it's nurtured, knowing that it's going to be something really good to eat in time, but instead going out there about a week later and looking for it and then just digging it up and then saying, Oh, you're not what I expected because you did not allow the gestation you did not allow the universal forces you did not allow yourself because you see it's really you that ripens it's really you that readies yourself well I can't really put back that corn seed can I I can't really go back to her again now we haven't spoken more than 10 words after that so what so what out of every bit of contrast comes wonderful clarity and comes a new bounce and comes a new intention and so for one thing the intention is I am so delighted at the idea of someone feeling about me the way I feel about them in fact nothing less than that will do nothing less than that will do 
won't it be wonderful when someone else gets to hold me as their object of attention and feel that way about me how good that will be for them because oh boy it was so good for me how much I appreciate this wonderful girl that she stood as my object of attention for so many pleasurable thoughts that I offered and just because her response is not what I wanted right now it doesn't mean that I cannot continue to hold her or someone else as my object of attention clarification 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 not only about what you want which may already be clarified we're not quibbling with that at all clarification about my vibrational readiness for that you see because most people and we know it's true of you because you have worked hard you're a really strong focuser you're accustomed to things moving in response to your determination these are all strong attributes of focus but when you have a contradictory vibration and don't know it and you get determined then you attract and repel and attract and repel and attract and repel and attract and repel simultaneously so the repelling the repelling isn't because you're not lovely the repelling is because your vibration insisted that it be there it's vibrational repelling this is not an indictment on who you are this is not because you are flawed and will not find the perfect mate you will you will you will you will you are you are you are you are your vortex always has already has already has already has the repelling is because of the vibrational tug of war that you've got going on that's all and when you stop that oh there will be no repelling you say but the tendency when you don't really understand the laws of the universe is to assume oh something must be wrong with me I am being rejected because I am inappropriate in some way that was the exact thought I had that is not what it is at all first of all you weren't rejected you repelled say to her in your mind doesn't surprise me that you could not come to me because I was pushing you away as strong as I was trying to call you to me I called and pushed I called and pushed I called and pushed and apparently my pushing was better than my calling because <laughs> off you went but it's all me 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 you see if we could get you to see what we see you'd never worry about this again ever if we could fast forward down the road just a little bit and you could see what comes as a result of this contrast and the clarifying thought processes that you offer you'd be feeling pretty good right now 